Most accurate forecast from the First Coast News weather team, sponsored by AC Designs. Wow, very interesting. And this has been interesting as well. If you've been with us off and on since Monday, we've been talking about not only the possibility of us having a major nor'easter next week, and I think now that's a given. We are going to have a major nor'easter next week. We'll break down to where I think the wettest and windiest days will be. But we've also been wondering if the system could become tropical or tropical cyclone developing within it. The Hurricane Hunter, uh, Hunters Hurricane Center is now concerned enough to where they're going to fly right about here, just east of Eleuthera on Sunday, to see if out of this large system that's going to be developing, a tropical cyclone might form. Now, I was hoping, hoping by today that I could at least say, yeah, there might be a tropical storm, but I was hoping I could say we're not going to see a Category 1 hurricane form there. Unfortunately, I can't say that. It's not a given that it will become a Category 1 hurricane, but there are some indications, especially because it's going to take its time to head toward Florida instead of race our way, for it to become what we call vertically stacked. Just think of it as it might have enough time to develop a chimney, and thus instead of just a tropical storm that's a nor'easter, it could possibly be a hurricane. If, if it became a hurricane, it more likely would make landfall south of us, but then come north. So. Not going to happen until after the weekend. Worst of the weather, probably not until after Election Day. So we have plenty of time to watch this. Just occasionally check in on the forecast. So over the weekend, don't lose sleep. Uh, just occasionally watch the forecast. Now, it's not going to be a perfect weekend. As I mentioned, we have a couple showers coming ashore. Same thing for tomorrow. I think overall tomorrow, this is how our day will look. Partly cloudy, up to 83 degrees. But there will be a few showers coming ashore. As far as the uh, waterways, maybe that's the negative. They're going to be pretty rough, although nothing compared to the seas we're going to have come Wednesday and Thursday. Even if this system doesn't become a cyclone, we're going to see seas heading toward our beaches, running at about 12 to maybe 20 feet. I mean, this is going to be a major nor'easter, folks. On Sunday, though, still just breezy and balmy, 84 degrees, and hopefully we'll get the W at the bank. This forecast will be updated, but if it goes close to how I'm seeing now, the worst of the weather will be Wednesday and Thursday. Tides running to three feet above normal. I want to emphasize that three feet, folks. Uh, for those of you in sensitive spots, that's getting up towards some problem areas, especially when you combine tidal levels that high and heavy rains. We're going to have some widespread drainage problems. Tuesday's not going to be a walk in the park. Increasingly windy and wet. Friday still as well, but right now looks like the windiest and the wettest with potential flooding Wednesday and Thursday.